Hi friends, I'm back with another junk journal share. This one is an antique book from 1893. The title of the book is Samantha at the World's Fair. I love the cover and have done nothing to it. Um, it, sh it shows some wear, but for as old as it is, it's really in good shape. I love the color of blue. Um, she is six signatures thick with 11 pages per signature and that's a total of 264 plus pages because you'll see that there's some extra pages within. She's tied with a um, silk, sorry, silk uh, tie. I found some great graphics on um, the internet. This this book is about the 1893 World's Fair, which was held in Chicago, and it was in celebration of, I think it was the 400th year of Columbus's um, voyage to the New World. I think that's what it was all about. So on, on the internet I found some great graphics to go along with it. I did um, reinforce the inside spine so that's in good shape. This is one of the gorgeous paintings that I found that was regarding the Chicago World Fair front inside cover and the back is just a continuation of that painting on this side. Most of the graphics, the digitals are mine. There are some others and I'll try to make sure I um, make note of that in the description below. This is an original page of the book. I try to include that in all my antique books. Um, let's see, yeah, 1893 is the uh, copyright and here's the title page. Samantha at the World's Fair. And I did go ahead and glue that in so it's attached. I thought since it was a World's Fair theme I included a bunch of old maps of old cities back when they were known as Citadel, you know, the fortresses of these cities. So these are just old graphics that I found. Um, this one is, well maybe I can see it on the, when I open the other side, hopefully I can see what it is. Here's a little pocket. I thought we needed to go with circusy fair, World's Fair kind of content. This is just, um... An insert and it's two pockets with some tags. They've been collaged and they give extra journaling space. Back here you can journal as well. I'm going to try to go through this fairly quickly. A lot of sewing on the, the pages. Um, each signature has a little tab, a lace tab, and a little charm or a bobble. Oh, I guess there's no bobbles, but there's charms on this one. And this is what I mean by extra pages. Like on, I think every, every signature will have an extra page like this. This one's a pocket, and I tried to include what the ladies were wearing in that era, and some play money. And then this little page flips up, and it's the the complete painting that the inside and back cover has. And so there's extra journaling space here and when it's flipped down. Okay, this one is an old city called Livorno. I don't know. I'm sure it's probably got a new name now, but that was the original name of that city. This is just a collage that I did digitally, kind of in that era, 1901. These were um, these were images were taken from some old London advertisements 
which are on my Etsy store. This is um, something I found online for um, fashions of that day, so I just made it look like it was part of a photo album. This is some of my um, tea stained or coffee stained lace images that is on my Etsy store. Here's another one of those old cities. Um, this is just uh, an old, looks like some kind of ledger. Some kind of keeping track of some costs. And this opens up. And there's a little tuck spot. Oh, hope I didn't permanently glue that in there. There we go. And that just flips, op flips up to hold it in place. A little pocket here. And this was um, something I found online about the World's Fair, Chicago, 1893. And then these are just some old postcard backs from Germany. Another page that flips out for more journaling space. This is another painting that was of the Chicago World's Fair. And can I, I don't know where, where, that, where that is. I should look these up. these dapper men of the 1890s waiting for their women I suppose a tuck spot here and a tuck spot up here I just put this in here. It could be a bookmark, wherever you want to put it. Some more play money and a little card that shows the Ferris wheel. I believe from what I've read, <coughs> the Ferris wheel was the first, that was the first Ferris wheel ever. Um, it's interesting. You should take a chance to, to read, a, read up on it, but I don't have time to go into it right now. Here's a little uh, lace tab with a key. There was another one back here. This was a heart, and the other one had a little key. Here's, an, here's another big picture of the Ferris wheel, and it's a tuck spot as well. My thank you card to the new owner. And these were little tickets that I found online. They're, they're gorgeous. The World's Columbian Exposition, Chicago, admit. 1st of May to October 30th, 1893. I just thought those were really pretty. I printed them out and then I tea stained them. Or no, I printed them out on my coffee stained papers. That's what I did. I tried something new and it worked really well. This is the old city of Stockholm. This was another image I found online and Cracker, Cracker Jacks was new um, during that uh, World's Fair. This is the old city of Florence. It might be Florence nowadays. And here's a little belly band and it's a tuck spot as well for some more journaling. And here's
gather some more of the fashions from that day. Some more. And then this is just a little letter that a little girl wrote in 1931. I just thought that was kind of a fun little little thing to include. And this is a, a little envelope, and it has some admit tickets in it. This is a picture of my husband's grandfather when he was a little boy getting his prized cow ready for the fair. Here's another opportunity for uh, writing and it's one of the big, it's a picture of one of the big buildings that was built <clears throat> for the World's Fair in Chicago gorgeous. So that's just extra opportunity for journaling. A little side tuck here, of another picture of the Ferris wheel. <clears throat> Some more ephemera from the fair. This is another old city, and here's the citadel of that city. There's another little tuck spot with a place to journal. It's a little library pocket, a book pocket, and another little Cracker Jack this pretty little card for parrots, I think they are parrots, and then there's a book, a book card, library card, more places to journal, and then I just threw in a little bingo card, another place to journal. This was a copy of a German postcard. I think I have these available on my Etsy. I just thought it was just, it looked perfect for um, the Chicago World's Fair. If there's the lake and everything. It's probably somewhere in Germany, but I just thought it looked, the era looked about right. And I just thought that was pretty. <clears throat> Here's another little charm. It's a little cowboy. Another writing opportunity. It's a bigger picture of the Ferris wheel. Here's another little envelope. It has a little key in it and a little uh, label for who owns that key and what kind of car he drove in. Maybe it was a she. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Some more fashions. And it's a tuck spot. This was Modena. A little old stamp. Looks like a one cent stamp. This is the sixth signature. This is the city of Amsterdam. Another little pocket. And it has some more of these admit tickets for this, the World's Fair. Just the right size for the, that little envelope. Another pocket with a tab, more journaling space, and another um, postcard back. It's another one of the German postcards. Um, he was writing to somebody in Denver. more 
play money. I think these were <clears throat> some kind of um, promotion money at some little grocery store, I think. Hunky Dory Smackers. That ain't hay. But it does say play money. And an old Forbes Golden Cup Coffee advertisement. Another little um, tab here, lace tab, and I have a little Chinese coin um, for, for jewelry, I think is what it was for. Another flip out gives you more space to write on the back. last page has a little flip up there's a, a little card um, of the fashions and I put a little weight on it that says believe and that kind of keeps it from coming up and so you can flip it up and there's more space to write and it's also a little belly band and it holds some more of the uh, fashions and it kind of gets hung up there, but it's because, I think it's because of this wrinkle. I'm not really sure, but it, it works in there. Just have to, have to be, you have to persuade it. And here's the last page, and it's a tall tab pocket. And there's a Ferris wheel back here peeking through the envelope some of my washi tape <clears throat> and this is a little slice of this and a place to journal on the back so that is Samantha at the World's Fair I had a lot of fun making her and I hope you all enjoyed the flip through and um, I'll be putting her on my Etsy store soon. Thanks for looking. Have a good evening.